I've hooked up the stuff. Speedy servo tester. When you plug in your fan unit on the desk or on the bench, pull it out and let this reset. Have a listen. I hope it transfers to the microphone. Here it sounds raspy. It's not a real clear, clean startup tone. It's got a rattle to it. Uh, that's a great indication that this thing is not balanced. And I know it's not. So let's have a listen to it unbalanced. Now, I can feel it shaking, right? You can feel the vibration. Here's another thing you can do too. If you've got big hands or you're not very sensitive on the fingertips, if you hold something like a pair of tweezers, just imagine this is like a tuning fork. If you hold that against the fan gently, it will, amp it will amplify the vibrations and you can uh, feel it much, much better. Like when I do this, I can feel this shaking like crazy against my fingertip. It's giving me um, pins and needles type sensation. I can really feel it vibrate because you're using this to amplify the, the error. Alright, so what you do, I hope this can sh show you that. I've taken off my little bit of um, electrical tape, stuck it to the desk, done a couple of crisscrosses to give me, and this is what I was saying about picking off the. Um, I'm just going to give it another slice. Yeah, I'll give me some about four little pieces of electrical tape. Grab the tweezers. Now, I use an eyepiece so I can see what the heck I'm doing to this thing. Now, here's the guessing part. Pick a fan blade, any fan blade. The vibration is either going to get worse or it's going to get better. So, in goes nitro. Oh, this is a bit fat, this piece. That's all right. It's a bit too thick. It'll be hard to balance out um, accurately. All right, so I've picked a blade. Well, it's actually better. A lot better. All right. So you know you're pretty close. So the next step is pick a direction, either direction. Now, I usually... Here's a classic example. I told you this stuff stuck well these fan blades. I'm trying to pick up the corner. I always go anti-clockwise. It's just what I do. So I've moved to the next blade because that was pretty close. It was horrible. You go to the opposite side straight away. You go, whoa, that actually got worse, not better. So you go to the opposite side. This is really close. So I'm going to move one blade to the left. If it gets worse, I'll go one blade to the right. So you're trying to find the sweet spot. Now it just popped it off, I just heard it pop. The back end lifted up. So we just stick that back down again. <laughs> right, there we go. I'm also using my fingernail here to do exactly what I did with this, which is to amplify the vibration. And unbelievably, second hit, um, I'm there, I can't hear the vibration anymore. Let's blow everything off the deck. Alrighty. <laughs> of course, right on the old money line. Okay, the video just cut out, just as I finished saying, lucky me, that thing's pretty well balanced. Now, here's the next step, is you get a thinner piece. This is a just making sure step. And what you want to do, yeah, see, it's not very big, check that out, right? You don't need much weight, not if you've cut the blades right. What we're going to do now is find out does it need more weight or less weight on that blade because it's sounding pretty good at the moment um, I'm going to go over one blade and this is, I'm going to put it 
to the outside on purpose to cause more weight thanks to inertia centrifugal force centrifugal and this will tell me did it get better or worse? nah got worse alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it onto the other side of the piece that I've stuck there that on me I'm just trying to hack it off again like I said it sticks good on low KV motors you don't even have to glue the stuff on it will just stay there but on these little suckers right so there's the tape what you have on the camera frame I'm going over to the other side and stick it on this blade Taking my time and going slowly, so you know, it's not. What the hell did you do there, Nitro? Crikey, go back a step. Okay, it just popped off. Oh, it's the extra motor doing that. Yeah, that's not bad at all, actually. Now I'm going to take it off and see if it gets a bit better or worse, just so I know for sure. So pull that little tiny piece off. I got better. All right, that's gone. Each sack. All right, so the next step is that you know either side it got worse. So you're right on the spot. You're not in between the blades where the weight needs to be. So the next step is to do two things. Does it need more weight here or less weight? And it's easier to it's easier to work that out by just moving it in and moving it out. So I'm going to go right next to the hub with this little piece of tape and park it right next to it and basically that's actually making it lighter centrifugally squeezing it down with the old tweezers so you know flying off first rev wow Okay, that feels really good, so I'm in the right spot. The next thing I do... ...is take your eyeglass and stare at the shaft hole. Because when you rev it up, if this thing's out of balance and you can't feel it, you'll see it. That hole will become blurry. If it stays crystal clear, you know, it's spinning in its own circumference, I don't know, whatever word you want to call that. It's spinning on its own axis, it's not wobbling. Um, so that's the, the test that I just did then, I just had a look down it, saw that it was um, spinning true and not vibrating just ever so slightly. So this thing to me is balanced now, so it's not that hard is it? Well that's a couple of minutes for me. And of course if you take your time, because you want this thing running sweet, because you want it sounding sweet, that's not full revs, I'm not going to do that. If I go full revs I'll just throw the tape off, and since I haven't secured it now. Now there's two things you can do. You can now use a pin from the old pin jar, get yourself a pin, drop some CA on the end of it, um, blink blink, and then just rub it just on the edges of the join of the tape here, front and back. Job done. Or the next frightening step is you start drilling on the opposite side. <laughs> So you go on exactly the opposite end, find out where it is, and start hucking holes into the, the hub. Now that is really close to the hub, so I know I've only got to say put in two one mil holes in experience. I know one mil is equal to one little bit of that tape that I use. So by putting two holes in that, it should balance out the fat piece of tape you got in there and balance it just sweet. Now I want to drill some holes in the opposite side. I, I like to use my eyepiece so I can see what I'm doing nice and close and get a nice accurate drill hole and it'll take me time alright so I'm on the opposite side of this fan double check the weight on the exact opposite side line up a nice spot hold the hub with one finger and then slowly start drilling with the other there's no rush I used to use a drill and just hoik straight into it, just 
then I couldn't control the depth. See, if you just want half a hole, this is a brilliant way to do it. So if you only need one and a half holes, because you know, one's not enough to use too much. All right. Blow away the garbage. Let's check it. Theoretically, yeah, vibration's back now. That's because I've changed the weight. So I know I'm on the right track. Because now I've made it heavier. So now I can pull off the tape and put in one more hole to balance it out again. The tape's off. Find the hole. And drill another one in. Because it's plastic, it's not only you're holding the hubs as stationary, but you're also stopping it from bending over because you want to bend the um, internal shaft of the hub and buckle it right after all this work, which is easier to do if you're heavy fisted. We're almost there. There we go. Right. Two lovely little holes. Let's have a feel. Oh. Purring like a kitten. Wow. And that's uh, on 2S. Might have barely felt it. This is going to be very exciting sticking this sucker into the meat. Alright, so that's how you balance it. That wasn't that hard, was it? And hopefully uh, my tutorial as a layman to um, being an instructor came across easy enough to understand and simple enough to follow. Wow, that's just purring. I'm going again. Woohoo!